few things about quantum physics. The first thing is, as Richard Feynman said, if you think you understand quantum theory, then you don't understand quantum theory. The second thing about quantum physics is something that Murray Gell-Mann said. He was talking about how some scientists, social scientists, popular writers, uh, started using quantum theory or making references to quantum theory to explain uh, things that didn't easily lend themselves to explanation using anything else really, explaining one mystery in terms of another. He described that as, as quantum flat doodle. I think he was particularly referring to people like Fritjof Capra and possibly um, Stuart Hammerhoff in that one. And the third thing about quantum theory, quantum physics, quantum mechanics, is uh, something that Robert Anton Wilson said actually, and it was, well I think it's probably the, well certainly to me at least, the most recognisable and understandable this, um, version of Stockton Rorty, the most understandable and uh, easily interpreted understanding of what the Copenhagen interpretation is. The Copenhagen interpretation in quantum physics is something that Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, Owen Schrodinger came up with sometime in the 1920s to explain uh, quantum mechanics. The Robert Anton Wilson described Copenhagen interpretation let me just get this right. He said, the, um, the equations of quantum mechanics do not describe the real world. They describe the mechanisms of thought we need to construct in order to be able to think about the real world. I like that.